faces an electrician shortage in the U.S. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says that we need more than 70,000 every year. But many electricians, they're retiring, so that means a lot of people might not be filling up those gaps. On today's Tyler Tries It, Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield sees if he has what it takes to become an electrician. We all want to keep the lights on, but we need to have someone that knows how to do it. So I thought I'd see if I have what it takes to become an electrician. I'm now here with Brian. You're a technician with Handyside Heating, Air, Electrical, and yep. Plumbing. And Brian, how long have you been an electrician? Well, thanks for asking me, Tyler. It's funny you say that. November will be 16 years, believe it or not, I've been in the trade. 16 years, and what does it take to do your job? You know, a lot of detail. You gotta really be focused on what you're doing in the electrical world. Electrical kind of separates the men from the boys a little bit, you know. You always got to be mindful out there. Um, and of course, with any trade, detail and quality is a very, very big um, eyesight that, you know, you want to keep in mind when you're out there doing electrical. All right, where are we right now? Well, Tyler, we're at a residential home here. Um, this house was built in about the mid-1970s. Um, customer called us today. They just bought the home. They're doing some remodeling inside. So we're here today. We're going to provide them with some proper grounding. We're going to give them some whole home surge protector at their panel, along with some GFCI breakers. So, Tyler, here we got ground rod A. And this guy here is what we call a grounding acorn. So we just kind of bend our copper wire up nice and tight against the ground rod. We're going to slide our connector down over top, and we're going to simply tighten down this nut, which will suck everything nice and tight to the copper wire to the ground rod. We'll push her into the house, and right there we have it. So now, Tyler, we'll take the other end of that ground wire inside the home, and we'll put that right into the panel. We'll, we'll land that on the ground bar, and that will bring the house up to code. So now that we pushed the ground wire in, we ran it across. You can see we, we securely fastened it, right? which means that it's now supported. We brought it up to code. Now we're in the panel. Tyler, all we got to do now is land it on our ground bar, and that will bring the hood up to proper grounding. Good job. So we got rid of the two-prong outlet that we just took out, right? We got our three-prong in. Now that we got all of our wires nice and securely landed on the device, we're ready to just push it back in the wall and screw her fast. I would say it's the jack of all trades. You got to know a little bit about what's going on with everybody around you. Um, especially in a new construction environment. You really got to know who's going where and what's going where. At the end of the day, we, we want to make a customer happy. You know, they're calling us obviously for a reason because they need some type of help. Anytime I walk into a home, I really strive to gain that happiness from that customer and build that relationship. It's a trade. So you're doing something very productive with your life and, and it's always plenty of room to build upon. Um, you know, electrical just doesn't stop in a residential home. It really sky's the limit. And there's really so many different phases of it that you can grow, you know, into the trade. Tyler Hatfield, Fox 43 News.